Greetings. This is Dr. Martin S. of O5 Command. Also been assigned to create audio logs for scientific research and for the scientists who are passed down this specific SCP. Anyone who is viewing this as not of O5 Command, level 3 clearance, or is not assigned this SCP will be immediately terminated. If this video is uploaded to any social media website, then the uploader will be terminated as well, along with anyone who views it. On with the SCP. SCP-096 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-096 is to be contained in its cell, a 5 meter by 5 meter airtight steel cube at all times. Weekly checks for any cracks or holes are mandatory. There are to be absolutely no video surveillance or optical tools of any kind inside SCP-096's cell. Security personnel will use pre-installed pressure sensors, and laser detectors to ensure SCP-096 presence inside its cell. Any and all photos, videos, or recordings of SCP-096's likeness are strictly forbidden without the approval from Dr. and O5 Description. SCP-096 is a humanoid creature, measuring approximately 2.38 meters in height. Subject shows very little body mass, with preliminary analysis of body mass suggesting mild malnutrition. Arms are grossly out of proportion with the rest of the subject's body. With an approximate length of 1.5 meters each, the skin is mostly devoid of pigmentation with no sign of any body hair. SCP-096's jaw can open to four times the norm of an average human. Other facial features were gained similar to an average human, with the expectation of the eyes, which are also devoid of pigmentation. It is not known whether SCP-096 is blind or not. It shows no signs of any higher brain functions and is not considered to be sapient. SCP-096 is extremely docile, normally, with pressure sensors inside its cell, indicating it spends most of the day place pacing by the eastern wall. However, when someone views SCP-096's face, whether it be directly or via video recording, or even a photograph, it will enter a stage of considered emotional distress. SCP-096 will cover its face with its hands and begin screaming, crying, and babbling in distress. Approximately one to two minutes after the first viewing, SCP-096 will begin running to the person who viewed its face, who will from this point on be referred to as SCP-096-1. No, uh, oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Documented speeds have varied from 35 kilometers to <laughs> kilometers an hour, and seems to depend on distance from SCP-096-1. At this point, no known material or method can impede SCP-096's progress. The actual position of SCP-096-1 does not seem to affect SCP-096's response. It seems to have an innate sense of SCP-096-1's location. Note this reaction does not occur when viewing artistic de depictions. See document 096-1. <clears throat> Upon arriving at SCP-096-1's location, SCP-096 will proceed to kill and... SCP-096.1 A hundred percent of cases have left no traces of SCP-096-1. SCP-096 will then sit down for several minutes before regaining its composure 
and becoming docile again, it will then attempt to make its way back to its natural habitat. Due to the possibility of a mass chain reaction, including breach of foundation secrecy and large civilian loss of life, retrieval of subject should be considered alpha priority. Doctor has also petitioned for immediate termination of SCP-096, C interview 096-1. Order is awaiting approval, but recently, termination order has been approved, and is to be carried out by Dr. on C incident 096-1-A. Audio log from interview 096-1. Interviewer is Dr. The one being interviewed is ca is the retired captain, former commander of retrieval team Zulu 9-A. The retrieval incident 096-1-A. Begin log, please. It always sucks ass to get initial retrieval duty. You have no idea what the damn thing is capable of, besides what jacked up information the field techies can scrape up, and you're lucky if they even tell you the whole story. They told us to tag and bag. Didn't tell us jack shit about not looking at the damn thing. Mm -hmm. Could you describe the mission, please? Uh, uh, yeah, sorry. We had two choppers, one for my team and one on backup with Zulu 9B and Doctor. We spotted the target about two clicks north of our patrol path. I'm guessing he wasn't facing our direction, else he would have taken us out then there. Your report says that. SCP-096 didn't react to the cold. It was negative degrees Celsius. Actually, it was negative. And yes, it was butt naked and it didn't so much as shiver. Anyway, we landed, approached the target, and Corporal got ready to bag it. That's when Dr. Called. I turned to answer, and that's what saved me. The target must have turned, and my whole squad saw it. That's when SCP-096 entered an agitated emotional state. Yeah. Sorry, got the willies for a second. That's all right. Yeah, well, I never saw its face. My squad did, and they paid the price for it. Up the ass. Could you describe it a little more, please? Yeah, yeah. It started screaming at us and crying. Not ammo warring, though. Sounded exactly like a person. Really fucking creepy. We started firing when it picked up Corporal and ripped off his leg. God, he was screaming for out the fucking. Anyway, we were blowing chunks out of the target. Round after round didn't do jack shit. I almost lost it when it started. Him. That's when you order the use of. AT-4 HEDT launcher. An anti-attack gun. Started carrying ever since SCP got loose. <laughs> I've seen those tear through tanks like tissue paper. Did the same thing to the target. There was significant damage of SCP-096. It didn't even fucking flinch. It kept tearing my whole squad apart. But half of its torso gone. But was it taking damage? If it was, it wasn't showing it. It must have lost all its organs, all its blood, but it didn't acknowledge any of it. Its 
bone structure wasn't hurt at all, though it kept tearing my squad apart. So no structural damage. How many rounds would you say were fired at SCP-096? At least a thousand. Our gunner kept his GAU-19 on it for at least 20 seconds. 20 fucking seconds. That's 650 caliber rounds pumped into the thing. Might as well be spinning at it. This is when Dr... This is when, um... Zulu 9B arrived. Yeah, my squad is gone. Zulu 9B managed to get the back over its head and it just sat down. We got to the chopper and it got there. I don't know. I never saw its face. Maybe God or but oh, whoever thought I should live. The jackass. We have obtained an oddest of O96's face. Would you like to see it? You know, after hearing the thing screams and the screams of my man, I don't think I want to put a face onto what I heard. No, just no. Alright. I believe we're done. Thank you, Captain. Let this be on record that I am formally requesting SCP-096 be terminated as soon as possible. Documentation 096-1 of Experiment 096-1 Experiment 096-1 is headed by Dr. Dan. Purpose is to test 096's abilities while obtaining complete physical description of SCP-096. D-9031 is a 32-year-old convicted felon and former tattoo artist. D-9031 is placed inside the Bathyspear 303-A, which is then lowered in the Tonga Trench off the coast of New Zealand. Position is approximately at... ...kilometers from SCP-096's temporary containment cell at site, the following was recorded via video surveillance inside Bathysphere 303A between it and Mr. Dan's control site on the New Zealand mainland. At this point, Bathysphere 303A reaches the final depth of one of, um, let's see here, 10,800 meters. Oh my. That's to be expected. Now, on your left, there should be a steel container. Open it, and there will be a manila folder holding several photographs. Open it and describe the first photograph, please. Not it's an empty cell. Thank you. Please set this photograph face down in the receptacle to your right and look at the next photograph. At this point, approximately 13.32 standard time, Dr. Dan and experiment controls notify that SCP-096 has breached containment. The fastest path to SCP-096 have been one has been cleared of civilians and other image capturing devices, and SCP-096 is now being tracked by satellites via tracking collar. Right, there should be a bus 
your container. It's uh, a pad of paper and pencil. Yes, please draw and sketch of the photograph you saw. SCP-096-1 spends the next 20 minutes drawing a sketch of the photograph. At the time of completion, SCP-096 is confirmed to be... Oh dear. Very near SCP-096-1. I'm done. Good. Place the drawing in the receptacle on your left and close the door. Uh, what now? Please stand by. Forty minutes pass. SCP-096 is now confirmed to be at SCP-096-1's position and is diving. Transporter signal ends at 9,339 meters. As pressure goes... It seems video and audio feed is cut as the whole of the bathysphere 303-A is breached. SCP-096 is recovered by its surface recovery team Foxtrot-303-A without incident. Sketch of SCP-096 is also recovered and a quick test confirms no hostile reaction from SCP-096. Sketch is sent to experiment control on New Zealand while SCP-096 is moved to permanent containment. My, my. So containment has been attained. Yes, Doctor. Great. Now let me see the security footage. Echo Romeo Actual has assigned to immediate containment breach. When we realized just how big a breach we were dealing with, we were completely overwhelmed. Funny how even the best and brightest minds in the world can be so unprepared. So, you are saying it is your own fault? Absolutely not. This was a new discovery in SCP-096 behavior. We had no way no, we are lucky it did not turn into an XK. <laughs> Begin the audio log, please.
Now, knowing that SCP-096 is immune to all known forms of damage, while well, in Norwich, say, why would you order sniper attacks from the emergency response team? Why not? If there was a chance to slow down SCP-096 and give the MTF Tower 1 more time, then we have to try it. It puts BR hyphen A in no danger, and the choppers were in the danger of being our runway. Honestly, ER hyphen A could do a little less to help or harm the situation. I see. So, could you explain these goggles? Yes, this is Project Scramble. An eyepiece we assigned to ERA hyphen A and MTF Tower 1, designed by Dr. Aleski himself and myself, especially. Okay, you read the and paper here? And it was specifically used for SCP-096. It carries a small microprocessor which constantly analyzes the viewing field for the visual features of SCP-096. Visual recognition uh, software so inside instantly identifies uh, them and scrambling the image here, into unrecognizable mess before the light reaches the human eye. It's quite cheap. It's expensive. Very. Which is such a shame it didn't work. Yes. Is that, uh, is that simple? Osprey's in the air. Moving. Uh, might I recommend not opening the door yet? Awaiting my turn. Yeah, go ahead. I'll let you take over. Electronic online cruising out to reach uploading programs, scrambles, all camera systems, cameras online, great big weather is now watching. What about Vector is the target currently at it? Target is currently westbound on our shit, yeah, he's on the he's on the R forty. I think he just looked the heavy. Um outbound group sector is Next time, this vector is, I said a couple hundred kilometers. Shit, MTF was suggesting Echo Romeo begin evacuating I-40. I don't know how many cars the target has wrecked. Uh, Hold uh, one, that's a negative. Big Brother, ERA is reporting that the target is outrunning their choppers. They cannot, they can't get ahead of them. Then we get them to stop the most race on the other lane. I do not know how many people have seen this thing's face. The first three elements of Tau 1 succeeded in gathering the townsfolk. In the first three towns, that instant SCP-0961 was confirmed to not be in any of these when SCP-096 ran through each in turn without stopping. However, a video log in MTF Tau shows SCP-0961 being identified in the town of And the ensuing incident. Show it. The target is in the Oh, 
Bills because the retort and can start the standard art countermeasure to SCP 096's hostile reaction. Those bloody idiots were just put a bag over the fucking head and stopped them. No, we had to use standard art fucking scramble. Just a quick question, Doctor. Um, what exactly are you planning on doing there? Major Jack Wilford was top-notch SBS when we recruited him. I was also a recon medic, sir. I was deployed in Carcass. Marines beat SBS. No, they don't. Enough, both of you. Moving on. Yes, you tell me that. Could you tell me exactly what transpired? It, it, it was done with bullets. It was just sitting there in the hallway, just got done with being open a minivan. And, and I'm went landed the truck. I got out and back. I put a bag over its head. It got calm, so it took it. So the victims in the minivan, the last to have you, the CP 96 is face. Interviewer was main signed for the remainder of the interview and was released. He was later found in his bunk room, having committed suicide via hanging with a makeshift rope. A half-crushed pacifier was found in his fist. The following video log was confiscated from the news broadcast belonging to CNN. The plane, which seems to be in military origin, has no outward markings. Designated it is as part of U.S. military. While first responders look for a black box recording, it is thought by police that the plane crashed into a massive cabin breach in both the cockpit and the fuselage. Paramedics have only found three bodies, which is odd for a plane apparently requiring a crew of uh, 20 men. Police have just suggested. So, are we finished here? One question, Doctor, or statement, as it seems. We find it interesting that there was no break room at research. I think it would be best if you begin talking. Remainder of the video, interview log 096-1-A is redacted. 
I don't see what that has to do with me. There is no reason to play dumb, Doctor. He's told us everything. Well then, I guess there's no use of feigning anything, is there? Horrible, Doctor. How could you knowingly? It worked. There was only a matter of time until that happened in a major population center and its face spread all over the world news. I can kill 096, but I've killed myself in the process. My, my. Hearing these various audio logs, and the reason they sounded off is because of a bit of distortion. My guess, there were a few contained breaches, not just involving 096, and I'll get to those SCPs at a later date. For now, this is Dr. Martin S. signing out.